Albert Einstein once supposedly said that if bees disappeared from the face of the earth, mankind would only have four years left to live. Now, there's no evidence that he actually said that, but he does touch on a real concern because the honeybees are disappearing. Those are all dead. All dead bees. Just like that. The term is called colony collapse disorder, and it refers to something that's been happening with honeybee hives over the last decade or so. Suddenly, hives are dying. Bees are fleeing the hives for reasons we can't really understand. We lost 43% of bee colonies over the last year. That's important because honeybees are a key part of agriculture. They pollinate a number of fruits and vegetables, from almonds to blueberries to apples to cherries, scores of others. There's a number of possible reasons causing the colonies of honeybees to collapse. One are pesticides. There's a new class of chemicals called neonicotinoids. Now they have an impact on bee nervous systems. They have navigation problems, they have flying problems, and it seems to kill them in large numbers. Another are parasites and mites that actually attack the beehives themselves. One is called the Varroa mite. It's been around for about 20 years and it's been probably the biggest single cause of bee loss in that time. Then there's also the simple fact that bees are running out of nutrition. Bees really depend on flowers, wilderness, wild spaces in order to pollinate, in order to gather pollen for their own hives. But increasingly farmers, because the price of corn and soybeans has gone up so much in recent years, have been replacing all that open area with crops. And as a result, bees are encountering what's almost like a food desert for them. But if the honeybees really do disappear, it's not likely that mankind will follow them in four years. But certainly our dinners have become a lot less colorful and a lot less varied.